Hi and welcome to another episode of Type with Me. In this episode we will see how we can work with Oak and it's a server-side framework for Dino. So basically you have Qua and it's a next generation web framework for Node.js and the creator of Oak gets his inspiration out of this web framework right and it's a, it's a great web framework why because it uses uh, async functions but especially especially with the yield keyword in it so he pulls out everything from middleware that you wrote you will see that for example this kind of uh, syntax will be uh, recognized when we are creating an OAK uh, application for Dino. So when you go to OAK server slash OAK, you will see a middleware framework for Dino's net server. So that's, that's great, right? So let's start and use this um, OAK server within Dino's. So a very basic uh, application of OAK will be uh, of this format, right? And it's when you see this kind of code, you see that it's very similar to what we saw within Quora.js for Node.js, right? So basically, uh, body and then uh, we have something that we can listen to, right? So whatever we hit uh, at this, um, IP address, this port will return this as a response body, right? So what we now can do is something like dino index.ts and then you will see that we need to enable the allow net flag. So that's very important for dino or dino. <laughs> I have always some kind of trouble to, to pronounce that. But I think I'm not alone in that. So we have allow net index.ts and then you will see that you have started uh, our index.ts file. It doesn't need to download uh, the OAK uh, code because I already played with it in the past on this machine. So he caches everything and then he doesn't need to download anything for that. So when we go to that URL, you will see that we have hello world, right? So that's great. Now we're going to dive into to it a little bit to create some small API to um, add to do lists and uh, manage a little bit of a to do list. So let's get started with that. So OAK is a middleware framework. So one of the things that we can do is add middleware for logging and add middleware for timing. So whenever you hit the server, you will see that he will get the X response time and he will do a console.log with the methods, the URL and the RT, which is the response time, right? So we can do the same for timing. We can write some kind of uh, middleware for that as well. And um, yeah, we will see right away how this will work out. So you'll see that he compiles our file index.ts and he launches the code. Great. So when we're gonna refresh this, you will see that we just get hello world back, so that's normal. But then in our console.log we get a get of just the home page, right? With zero milliseconds and he also does a request for the favicon icon with zero milliseconds. So that's great. So you see, it's very easy to create some kind of middleware with it. So now we're going to see how we can put some kind of routing into our application. So here I'm going to add const movie database equals new map 
of type string comma any And movie database dot set one title And it's true the looking glass director, of course, Tim Burton, right? So that's already something, right? So if you want to use router, we just need to add here router. And then, of course, we need to go and use router, right? So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to remove this one. We're going to put here router.get. What we then can do here is dot get slash movies context. And then our lambda. Of course, now what do we want to return, right? Well, we want to use context dot response dot body equals, and then of course, from movie database, we want to return this, right? So another thing that we can do is work with uh, router parameters. So we can do something like a get movies slash ID comma context and then of course we can see if we have params and if movie database has context.params.id and then we can get the right ID and we put it on the context.response.body, right? So that's a great one. Of course, this is not going to work. We need to enable our um, routes to our middleware of application, right? So we're going to do that. going to stop our application and we are going to start our application again. When we now refresh our page, you'll see that we get an hello world, which is normal. We now can go to slash movies. We get Alice through the looking glass from Tim Burton. And then we can say, okay, I want to get the first one. So you get very easily the first one, which is great, right? It works very fast. So uh, I really can recommend to play a little bit with the OAC server. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.